Nearly 900 standalone homes like the semi detached you can see here in Leslieville are owned by Toronto Community Housing. Now we started looking into these properties after a neighbor contacted our newsroom with concerns as to why this house has been sitting empty. Well, tonight we take a look at the value of these properties. We also talked to a city councillor who believes they could go a long way in leveling TCH's massive repair backlog. It's a really nice semi detached house, um, three bedrooms and it's owned by Toronto Housing and it's been empty for over a year now. Sarah Cotton contacted City News wondering about the empty TCH house next door that she says could be going to one of the 95,000 people waiting for affordable housing in this city. They spent a ton of money obviously with having people working on the place all summer long um, and then getting everything updated and renovated and yet nobody has moved in. There's piles of mail coming out of the mailbox. We discovered this century old home has been vacant for two of the last five years. It underwent $80,000 worth of renovations that ended in August. And according to TCH, it's now being held for a family that will eventually be forced to relocate because of revitalization. It's just a mystery to me how they can sort of throw money away like that, leave it empty, and yet, you know, they could probably get upwards to whatever, $700,000. Back in 2011, council approved the sale of 158 standalone homes. Since then, 141 have been sold, totaling almost $79 million, money that went directly toward the $2.6 billion repair backlog. One of the things we know is that there's a very hot real estate market in Toronto. TCH actually owns 895 standalone homes, and Councillor Stephen Holliday believes the city should be selling them off instead of repairing them. There are opportunities that come up from time to time when families move out that these things may be sold and a significant amount of money may be recovered, and that money can be put to good use in repairing units in other buildings that are otherwise vacant right now and not habitable. Here's how the numbers break down. Of the TCH's 895 standalone homes, 14 are being held for families pending relocation. 13 are sitting vacant because they're too expensive to repair. Five standalone homes are undergoing capital repairs and will be occupied as soon as work is completed. Four million dollars were spent on repairs to these homes in 2016. The same amount is budgeted for next year. And 17 standalone homes are still waiting to be sold, although some are occupied by tenants who are not required to move to accommodate a sale. The corporation has these opportunities that come up from time to time. I want them to seize it and I want them to use the money as best as they can to accommodate the most number of people. I think you could easily get a million dollars for some of the properties. Now, City Council does have to approve the sale of any properties that are owned by Toronto Community Housing. I'm being told that right now a review of TCH's entire portfolio is under review and we should be seeing a report sometime in the spring. In Leslieville, Shauna Hunt City News.